How's it going guys? Davey here from phonebluff.com and in this video we're doing a review on the Adobe Photoshop Touch app available on Android and on iOS. This version however is on Android. As you guys can see I have my Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 which Photoshop actually came pre-installed with. Otherwise it's $9.99 from your OS's respective app store. I'll go ahead and talk about you know some of the features that comes with it compared to how it is on the computer and also how I like it. So uh First up, I'll just go into something I really like, which is the tutorials. So you can see you have a whole bunch of tutorials here. You actually have 15. So you have 15 different effects or 15 different things you could actually do with this Photoshop Touch application. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, choose one and I'll walk you through it and show you how exactly you know the tutorial goes and in the process shows you some of the features that you could do. So for example, in this tutorial, it's gonna teach us how to replace colors uh, we're going to change the red stop sign to a blue stop sign. So pretty simple. I'm going to hit begin tutorial and you see at the bottom it says tap the toolbar and scroll to the magic wand tool. So basically it's going to walk me through step by step on how to do it. Really cool feature here. So you can see this says it points out the magic wand tool. So I'm going to tap on this guy. And now that I know how it looks because of the little icon, I'll tap on it. And it says step one, I'll tap next and say tap tolerance, increase the tolerance to 50%. So you can see tolerance is right over here. It's at, now I'll just leave it at right there, 54%, that's good enough. We'll go to the next step, which says, tap the red area of the sign to select it. So I'll just tap on the red area. You can see it's been selected somewhat. I'll hit next, it says, tap the add to selection icon and uh, tap the areas inside the O and the P of the stop sign. So I'm just gonna hit the add to selection button and I love the way it points it out to me. Uh, I'm gonna tap inside the O like it asked me to and inside the P. I'm going to hit next and it says tap the adjustments, color balance, enter red. You know, it gives me the settings to put in. So I'm going to tap color balance over here. So I'm just going to hit the settings. Then I'll look for color balance and say, for example, I forgot, you know, what it just said. I can hit this little light bulb and it'll tell me exactly where to go. So a pretty cool feature there. And from here, I'm going to enter in the settings. So red, it's going to go to negative 100, green, negative 100, blue to positive 100. I already changed it because I already went through this tutorial before, but I'll just hit apply. And then hit next on this little tutorial. It says tap, select, and then deselect. So select, deselect, and close tutorial. So basically it says tutorial completed. You have reached the end. So I'm not going to close now. You can see the effect. Obviously you can zoom in and zoom out too. So really cool, especially with this uh, S Pen if you're using the Galaxy Note 10.1. It makes it really easy or if you have some kind of stylus because I'll go ahead and back out of here and I'll just go ahead and close the tutorial and start another one that requires a little bit more uh, precision. So for example, uh, to clean up a background. So for example, it wants me to take this picture originally with these two people in the background and remove them without making it look like I did. So you hit be begin tutorial. This one seems a little bit more advanced. Uh, it says zoom in on the woman's head. So it's really nice to have it, to be able to do this on a tablet because I feel like it's a little bit quicker. Obviously I've used you know Photoshop on computers a lot, but uh, with the S Pen and the touchscreen interface, it's just a lot faster. So for example, it says tap on them and then select the lasso icon. So I'm gonna click here, hit the lasso and it says draw a selection around her head and upper right arm. So her head right over here. So what's cool is with this, I could actually be a lot more precise uh, than I am with a mouse. I know that, you know, on the computer you could use a little adapter that lets you use your like hand drawing to be able to select things, which is cool. And a lot of artists and graphic designers actually have that. I don't have that because I'm not that serious uh, when it comes to Photoshop, but to be able to do it that well on here is pretty cool. Uh, hit next and it says add to selection. So anything I missed, uh, you know what, I'm fine. I don't need to do that step. And it asked me to feather something and uh, set a value of one PX. So I'll just hit feather, one PX. So set it to one, hit okay. And I'll just kind of walk through and give you an idea as far as more of the future. So it says tap inverse to protect the uh, our selection that we made. So I'm gonna hit inverse. So now when I mess with everything outside of it, it's not gonna mess with uh, what I have selected. Zoom out of the image. So it even tells you how to zoom out by, you know, pinching out. Choose the clone stamp tool. We'll choose it. Hit next, tap the source button. So source and select the center of the water between the two men. So here are the two men. Center of the water is right about there. So I'm gonna hit source again tap right there and then it says use the clone stamp to cover the man and the woman in the background reset the source as needed so I'm gonna hit brush 
and I'm just gonna tap on this guy and you can see he's slowly being deleted basically with water now I need to reset the source because his head didn't get replaced so I'm gonna tap right over here and then brush again and you can see now his head's gone I would continually do that throughout the uh, whole picture until everything is gone not gonna do that here because it's gonna take quite a while but you guys can see it is pretty easy to do with this pen whole bunch of tutorials which I absolutely love now let's go back and go into the other options you have up here. So you could tap this guy to go to the Creative Cloud for, with Adobe. You could tap right here to set something as your uh, gallery, save it to your gallery, share it on Facebook, share it by email, and also upload it to the Creative Cloud. Hit the folder if you want to add a new folder, move products around. If you want to duplicate a project you're working on, so if you want to go maybe two different ways with a current project, you could do that. Um, tap right here obviously to delete a project share on Facebook and it's going to ask you to sign in. Don't want to do that right now. If I go to the settings, you kind of have the same options here as far as, you know, your preferences. You could decide uh, the resolution that you want. My tablet's resolution is 1600, so I'm going to leave it at that. I can log into Facebook like I had earlier, help and uh, about basically. So nothing really much in the settings. Pretty much everything you need is right over here in these toolbars. At the bottom, you can start a new project right here. Select the size of the canvas. It's automatically going to go to the size of my screen minus this part of the screen, which is used for the uh, home button and notification bar. If I wanted to add a picture that I already have on my tablet, for example, I have this one, I'm gonna hit add, and I'll be able to Photoshop this. Obviously, this is a screenshot of my of my screen. I actually don't have any pictures on here, but if you did, you'd be able to do all the effects that you're used to too. For example, you tap this guy, you could crop, change the image size, rotate it around. So I'll just do rotate, and you know, I'll rotate it, uh, I'll flip it, counterclockwise and then all those things that you'd want to do with your pictures I mean it's really nice to be able to have this on your tablet honestly I feel like this is just as functional as I mean not just as functional but pretty close to the functionality as the version I have on my computer and uh, this is one of the applications you know that you know I, I really couldn't say that my smartphone or my tablet before could replace my computer all right because Photoshop is one of those uh, applications that I use on a daily basis for phone buff when I you know upload pictures and things like that but with this application, the only real thing I need is a, a good video editing software on a tablet. And then I'll truly be able to replace my computer needs on with a tablet. Right now, obviously, I can't because the video editing isn't there. But it's nice to see that the photo editing is there. Definitely recommend it. I mean, if you're going to edit a lot of pictures on your tablet, if you're uh, really into that and you want to learn more. And this is a, honestly a great way to learn how to do these effects because it does help out. I mean, you can add people's tattoos and uh, you know you can make a picture look old and all that stuff and a whole bunch more these are just the tutorials they include so anyway that's pretty much my quick walkthrough review of the uh, Photoshop application I do like it a lot you know I definitely recommend it at $9.99 I definitely think it's a fair price considering you know a lot of these features that come available on the computer version which is you know over $200 so Definitely worth the money, in my opinion. If you get the Galaxy Note 10.1, it's even better. It comes pre-installed, so it was actually free. So I got this guy for free. Really happy with that. But anyway, that's it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you.